Hello, I'm Sergio Pilon, a developer and producer of cold glue in Brazil and globally. For a brief presentation, we'd like to discuss the glues used worldwide. They serve to repair damages caused by hail or standard dents, typical street damages. Certain steps are needed to ensure satisfactory results in these repairs. First, you need to clean the plate. Occasionally, the vehicle may have a coating, such as ceramic or glaze. This repels glue, just as it does other materials falling on the bodywork. Once it's cleaned, a kerosene-soaked microfiber is used. We use either pure kerosene or mix it with 90% alcohol. This enhances the glue's adhesiveness and removes any residue. The first pull almost pulled the dent out. It's a bit uneven there, but let's pull it again, right in the middle. We're using turquoise glue. You may remove any remaining residue. All the residue has nearly come out. Now pull a bit harder. The dent has mostly come out. We're close to leveling the panel. This kind of dent is usually caused by hail. It's nearly leveled out enough to start hammering. As you see, it left almost no residue. I'll pull one more from the front. You see, the blows aren't very strong. It's enough to level the piece. We're using a universal fitting with a larger green suction cup than a one centimeter round gold one to make this dent bigger. We're using red glue. Notice that there was no need to knead the glue or spread it in the can because it risks damaging the paint film. Almost no residue was left. Excessive heating, whether from friction or heat, causes glues to leave residues. I want to discuss glues. Many folks are unsure about their various colors. Let me explain why they're color-coded. These glues respond to climate changes. We don't yet have a one-size-fits-all glue that suits every climate, maybe in future. As climates vary region to region, one glue wouldn't suffice. We have glues for cold, heat, and rigid ones ideal for aluminum car and sheet repairs. These four suction cups are the go-to for hail. The red one is not as commonly used though it's used in heavy hails as well. I'd like to delve into the glues that often leave people puzzled. People frequently ask, what's the use of green, red and turquoise? I'll explain and illustrate the differences. We use cold glue, the green one. Once you touch it, you can feel its instant adhesion. It's engineered to have some level of elasticity, not too much, but necessary. This is the cold green glue. 
People often ask about the temperature. It varies, but generally used below 5 degrees. It's relative, though. In regions where it's cold but humid, it repels sheet metal. Sometimes you'll need to heat the plate to eliminate moisture. Begin working with the cold green glue, very effective for such conditions. This one's more rigid. It's used a lot in heat. Not intense heat, but moderate. Cold glues aren't intended for high temperature work. Professionals must consider this. If the glue softens a lot during work, it's likely too warm in the room. You need to gauge the glue quantity based on your knowledge. Remember to always use a minimal amount. Let's take this suction cup. To easily cut these glues, you can use a knife soaked in water. This here is the green suction cup. This suction cup has a rich history. It's used for all fixes, for street dents or hail damage. We also launched the Golden Suction Cup recently. Previously, only green and lilac were available. We created an intermediate, the golden one. It gained significant acceptance. For a long while, we only used the green type. Now there are alternative options. The amount of glue matters. It's significant. It ensures a quality result, especially in your work. Some people often ask me, how can I make the glue stick to the suction cup? These are contact glues. So, they require it, the more contact it has. With the larger suction cup, the greater its adhesion. So, the more adhesive it will be. So, ensure it rests here for a bit. Even consider heating the suction cup before placing on top and avoid repeatedly removing it. Some argue they remove it for storage, but it isn't necessary if you want to store this glue without getting it dirty. Silicone containers exist for this. These can be placed on top. Many companies make them. For instance, Keko in the United States does. I believe several companies already make these. Soon I'll be launching mine on the market. At the moment, I don't have mine. In addition to the red glue, we've launched another, the turquoise glue. A strict one over here. It's much more rigid than all. Now it's cold today to ensure good adhesion. Sometimes you'll need to warm it up slightly. There were cases where people overheated it. Doing so will melt it. Remember, it's a cold glue, so it needs warming. Feel when its adhesiveness has increased. That's something a technician should know. We've launched these three types of glues. They're incredibly helpful in the golden hammer process. During hail repairs and hybrid repairs, I refer to it as hybrid repairs. A combination of the two techniques, the golden hammer and conventional bodywork. So there you have it. These are the three glues together with suction cups to assist easily tackling hail damage. We also have larger blue suction cups for bigger dents and the rectangular golden suction cups as well. To help you clean properly, try to use the products we recommend. Many are using products that do yield results, like WD-40, for example. It releases a bit of oiliness. Sometimes it's necessary to clean the residue afterwards. Clean this glue's waste using alcohol with concentration over 90%. This will improve stickiness on the can. I typically use cleaning kerosene. It's available in the US. At Walmart, within the camping section, there are one liter containers. Cleaning becomes much easier, especially okay. glue residue. Cleaning by rubbing could scratch the can. That's why I suggest kerosene. It cleans effortlessly. You can even combine WD... Even mixing a bit of WD-40 with alcohol yields excellent results. I've tested and you can use it without worries. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time.